Uh, my name is Lan Yan, and in Chinese, we put the family name before our first name, so it's Yang Lan. Uh, we have been in a television for 30 years, uh, starting as a talk show host, and then produced the first interview show on Chinese television, which has been uh, in production for the past 20 years. I, I take the privilege to interview more than a thousand leaders across borders, um, politics, business, academia, um, art and sports. But then, uh, 18 years ago, I took um, the courage to start one of the first private media companies in China, Sun Media Group, uh, which now has developed into a multimedia uh, investment engine. Uh, we have business Businesses in original television and video content. Uh, we are also in big location-based entertainment and sports event. For example, we, we produce the biggest music festival in Asia. Um, and then about uh, 12 years ago, uh, I started a show called Her Village. Uh, and that's a combination of a storytelling model and with perspectives models, more or less like The View. Um, upon that, uh, I developed into a multimedia community. And uh, five years ago, I started Her Village Academy, which is a platform and a community to enable women for their lifelong learning and continued education. Because our society is growing so fast, it's, it's a great transformation and only catalyzed by, by the disruptive technological revolution, the industrial revolution. And uh, uh, women are uh, um, enthusiastic and also feel pressed to learn more, to adapt, to, to, uh, to lead and to survive. Last year uh, celebrates the 40th anniversary of Chinese reform and opening up. And it seems it's a, it's a consensus from the top leaders to the bottom up uh, communities that keep keeping uh, openness uh, and uh, to trade, to exchange with the world is the only right path for our own country. Uh, and also now uh, we are shifting from um, a copycat, you know, made in China, low-end manufacturing to smarter manufacturing, uh, innovation and original creativity uh, from China. I think that's the right, right path to go. Uh, but of course we have so many internal issues to, um, to talk about. Uh, environmental issues, pollution issues, education issues, and also gender issues. You know, with the second child policy in place, uh, we observed that at the workplace there's a lot more discrimination against women because they may take double maternal leaves. And so how our public policy can catch up with that and to ensure um, that women are not deprived of opportunities of work and promotions and the opportunities to realize their own dreams. 25 years ago, I was studying at a School of International Public Affairs of Columbia University in the US. After four years serving as a um, um, talk show host on Chinese television, when I had an audience of 300 million every week. Uh, and so one day I received this call uh, from Beijing and saying that, Lan, we need you back. You have to be the master of ceremony for this opening ceremony for all the governmental uh, delegations from across the world, uh, almost 200 countries, to Beijing for this fourth uh, world, uh, world Women Conference. I didn't hear about that before, but I thought, wow, it sounds great. It's such a, a, a milestone in uh, gender parity and women's development. So actually, I flew back just for this case. So, um, so I was the one to welcome all the delegations. I said, uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, here we are finally in Beijing. And everyone applauded. I was overwhelmed by the, the warmth and optimism uh, in the audience. Uh, but of course, at that time, China uh, didn't quite get the idea of NGOs yet. So I learned a funny thing was that the local police was so afraid that these um, women NGO leaders would go on uh, for a nude parade or something like that. So they even equipped themselves with enough bed sheets so that if, if it did happen, they would help them to wrap up. So it, it just shows the, the disparity of uh, 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 of knowledge, of uh, recognition of a women's movement. 
um, in, in China back then. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I, when, when I was talking with rural girls, I always challenged them to ask themselves the question of why not? You know, if you are told by your parents that you are a girl, you have to give the opportunity to your brother, or you have to marry out, or you have to, you know, be a mother at certain age, otherwise you are a loser, uh, you should have the courage to say why not? You know, why I can't choose to be myself? Uh, I think that's the, uh, what I call the, the doorstep. You have to choose to step over yourself. With a glass ceiling, we can break it together because that's the environmental barriers. But with this doorstep, I think it takes personal and uh, self-motivation to cross it.